everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be trying expensive, bougie makeup products for the first time, doing a full face first impressions. And yeah, some of these products are seriously, seriously bougie. This video is in collaboration with Strawberry Net. Strawberry Net is an online shopping website where you can purchase makeup, skincare, fragrance, home sense. They have so many brands from more drugstore price brands to super duper bougie, bougie brands, which is what we're using today. And a lot of it is at a discounted rate, which is amazing because when you're buying that kind of super expensive makeup, you want to save some pennies. That is for sure. I think they have like 800 brands and that's everything from like Urban Decay, Clinique, Sicily, Clay de Poe, Tom Ford, everything, like anything you can think of. There's definitely a few products on there from them. Strawberry Net delivers to pretty much every country, which is awesome. And you get free worldwide shipping once you spend over 30 US dollars, which is amazing. Have you ever made a purchase and then that final bit of checkout when you add your shipping, you're just like, oh my God, now it feels too expensive when you've already got like $300 worth of products in your cart. Like somebody relate with me. Why does that like $15, $20 shipping put us off? But you get free shipping, so it's like, yes, I'm gonna go through with treating myself. <laughs> they always have discounted makeup and specials on as well, so little kind of like special packages where you can buy things at a discounted rate. And of course, we have a discount code for you today as well. Woo! The discount code is LOVEBEAUTY88. I'm gonna put it up on the screen here so you don't miss it screenshot it, do what you gotta do, get your discount girl. And this discount gives you an extra 20% off site-wide and free shipping. Yes, I'm here for it. I want my bougie makeup at 20% off. There are a couple of terms and conditions. I'll leave those all in the description box below. Like you have to spend $40 to get the 20% off, but that's easily done anyway. I don't think you'd be really shopping online for less than that. So it's all good, but I will leave the terms and conditions in the description box below for you to check out anyway. Strawberry Net also have a new app that you can download. So if you're on the go and you're like swatching and makeup shopping and you wanna have a little look-see on Strawberry Net to see if it's there, for a little bit of a cheaper price. You can do that when you're out and about on the go on your phone. I had a great shopping experience with Strawberry Net. Definitely gonna have to look into them in the future again when I'm looking for my super bougie products at a discounted rate. But without further delay, guys, let's get on to the video and get these bougie products on my face. You can tell it went pretty well. I'm really loving my makeup today. Okay, so first up, I actually made a mistake when ordering. Clever Michelle. I ordered the Touche Eclat Le Cushion Foundation from Yves Saint Laurent, but I actually got the shade B20. Now that's my lighter shade, so when I'm not tanning, that's kind of like the shade I would use. But at the moment, I do a fake tan on. You can see like, I always look much lighter here, but like my arms and legs are super dark. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to make this foundation work today. So silly of me. You can see, let me see, let me see, let me see. See, it doesn't look too bad against my skin, but if you were to compare it to like my arms and legs, I would look like a floating head. It would be mental, like my shoulders are even a bit darker. So I'm not gonna use that today. But I did realize I have a foundation in my collection that is sold on Strawberry Net that I haven't tried before. So I thought it'd be really good to use that one so we can kind of like keep the theme of the video. So this is the Lingerie de Poe Natural Perfection Skin Fusion Texture SPF 20 foundation by Guerlain. This is supposed to be really really gorgeous I have all the details of all the products up here in front of me. Let me see So the regular retail price of this is $91.50 um, in Australian dollars and it is $86 on strawberry net. So That's a nice little discount. Let's just go straight in with the beauty blender pop it on the skin and see what happens yeah, looks like a pretty good color. It's so hard to tell on camera sometimes, but the kind of like couple of shades up that I want, this looks really good. And then I'll just bring it down the neck. Does anyone else lose fake tan on their neck and face so quickly? I mean, it just does not stick at all. Oh, it smells kind of like fancy soap. <laughs> does that even make sense? It's blending in really, really flawlessly. I'm getting like a good medium coverage and I think it might be buildable so I'm going to try build it now in a second. That is blending in really nicely. It's got like a, I wouldn't say a super dewy finish but 
It's definitely not matte. I can see like a shine in the skin. It looks very natural and I think that's kind of like the point of this foundation. It's supposed to look very skin-like, so not overly shiny. Shiny? <laughs> shiny, not overly matte. So I think it's definitely doing what it says on the tin. Let's keep going and build up another layer. Uh. <laughs> Let's build up another layer and see how that goes. I am using quite a bit of product, so this is like my fourth pump, but it doesn't look cakey or heavy. Like it definitely looks skin-like for a medium coverage. Interesting. I know my neck looks really light right now, but just give me a sec and I'll blend it all down. Okay, so I've added that like second layer of that. It does not look cakey at all, if you can see. It looks very skin-like, just like I said, not too matte, not too shiny either. I think that looks really, really beautiful. So yeah, that's the Lingerie de Peau Foundation by Guerlain. I think that's a thumbs up so far. I'm really, really enjoying how it's looking on my skin. Obviously, I'd have to test the wear of it and stuff and like wear it a few times. I'm quite picky with foundations. So yeah, but so far so good. Okay, so the next product is concealer and I am so excited to try this because this is the bougiest, most expensive concealer I have ever, 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 ever tried. So this is the Clay de Peau Concealer and this was famous online years ago as being Kim Kardashian's favorite concealer when she first started doing the like stripes and stuff on her face for contouring and yeah, people were raving about it back then. It is a thick stick cream concealer and I've just heard the best things about it. I think I've seen other YouTubers use it as well. It is not budget friendly though. Can we just talk about that for a second? So yeah, if you can get a discount on that, it's gonna be a discount you want. So I have the details here. The Clay de Peau Concealer regular retail price is $138. And then you can get it for $128 on Strawberry Net. So that's a 7% discount, which is, 7% is a lot when it's like a big price. <laughs> So yeah, if you want to save some pennies, if you do want to try it, that is definitely a good idea. So this is the shade beige I have, and I'm just going to go in like I would any other concealer, triangles under the eyes, eyelids, and just apply. It's so expensive though. Like, I feel like I shouldn't even be using it. $138 for a concealer. Ooh, okay. That applies like butter. No joke. I have no idea like how far it goes, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. This color is a really good color for me with this skin tone. It's um, slightly lighter than my foundation, but not too bright, which is great. That's the shade beige. I'm gonna use it on my eyelids as well because I always conceal my eyelids. I'm not gonna be too precious with it. I feel when something is super duper expensive, I instantly wanna be precious with it, but no, I'm not gonna be precious with this today. That applies like butter. I have to say it just feels great. Okay, in with the Beauty Blender now and blending out. Let's hope this bad boy is worth the dollar holla. <laughs> Do you remember Honey Boo Boo? That dollar make me holla, Honey Boo Boo chat. <laughs> wow, okay. Can you see that? That is really smooth on my skin and the coverage is really, really nice. Wow, okay, that is a really nice formula. So it's definitely brightening really nicely. It's adding a little bit of coverage, but there's no cakiness at all. It's a very similar kind of finish to the foundation, like that not too dewy, not too matte kind of look. It doesn't look powdery, it doesn't look cakey. Wow, okay, we can see why this is bougie. Concealer is one thing as well that I really, really am struggling with lately. Like, even past favorite concealers, I'm like, why are you not working for me? Why do I not like you anymore? So, yeah, I'm very tough on concealers when I try them. Wow. We like this. We like this a lot. Yeah. It's not going to be good for my pocket, is it? <laughs> I basically just concealed my whole face. Can we talk about that for a second? I really like that. Again, it would have to be wear tested, but first impressions are... Legit. Okay, so Bougetastic Concealer is definitely a winner. I'm like super duper impressed with that. Moving on, moving on. So the next product is the Sicily Paris, which is another Bougetastic brand, a gorgeous brand. 
This is the loose face powder, uh, loose face powder with hibiscus flower extract. Ooh, fancy. This is packaging, nice and simple. So the Phyto Pudra Libra loose face powder. I have the shade Sable here, so I'm hoping that's good for me. So the regular retail price for this is $138. So it's the same as the concealer. That's insane. That's a bougie, bougie, bougie powder. But you actually get 17% off on Strawberry Net. So it's $150 in Australian dollars. So that's really, really good discount. Like I said, those percentages really rack up when it's a super expensive product. So let's put this to the test. She has the little seal here and the grate and a little like puff thing, whatever you call it, but I'm not gonna use that because I don't want a super powdery look. I'm just going to go in with a powder brush. So, right, let's, oh, okay. So you just do this and the powder comes up quite nicely. And then I guess you put that over the top then to make, stop it from coming up, cool. I'm just going to use this powder brush by Bobbi Brown and lightly graze over the face. So that's definitely mattifying. Let's get some more. The thing about powder is you just don't want to see it sitting on top of the skin. Like that's the worst. See the way you can still see a bit of a shine through my skin, but I'm definitely mattified and set. That's really nice. Come through bougie powder. Okay. That's yeah, see, it's like mattifying, but I don't feel super chalky. Again, always would have to test the wear time and stuff with skin products, but I think that looks pretty nice. Wow, I like that. Just getting a smaller brush and kind of stamping into like the T-zone and under the eyes and stuff because that's really where I powder the most. That's where I move the most. I'm just setting that in. That looks really nice. Can you see that? I do have creases under my eyes, so I'm always going to have a crease there. Brush hair. I'm always gonna have a crease there regardless of creases, concealers, or powders, but like my under eye looks very smooth right now. That powder is really nice. That is like a win. I'm really baffled by it actually. Like it's see can you see that like shine? It's almost like there's a radiance in the powder, like the way the hourglass powders are. But I'm matte. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I think that is pretty good. Again, I'd have to try it a little bit more, but on first impression, I like it. It's just a powder, but it's definitely doing something nice. Okie dokie, just a quick brow there using the Benefit Cabrow. Just pop that on and then set it with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter as well. And now what do I move on to? Eyes or face? I'm really excited about both products, so what do I use first? I think face. I'm so excited about this product. This is one of those products when you see it in the store, you're like, oh, the makeup gods have delivered this to us. <laughs> it is the Tom Ford Soleil Contouring Compact. Oh, we love some Tom Ford up here on the Michelle Crossan beauty channel, whatever this YouTube channel is. <laughs> Let's have a look at the deets for this one. This is the Soleil Contouring Compact, like I said, and it is $158.50. Oh, Tom Ford, you know how to do the thing. Look, look at this. Oh, this is like so weighty. You've got like the Tom Ford clasp. A lot of the other products up to now, the packaging has been like nice and chic and yeah, it looks like a bougie product, but nothing feels like Tom Ford. Like this feels Oh, so gorgeous. And yeah, we've got Tom Ford here. It's like a clamshell kind of um, feeling like the way NARS packaging is. And then inside, that is bloody beautiful. So we have bronzer, blusher, and highlight in this. We have a nice big mirror. This just feels expensive. This feels weighty. This feels like one of those things that is worth every penny, in my opinion. Oh, and we just know Tom Ford always delivers, but let's try it on the face. So I'm just going to go in with the same um, brush that I used for my powder. I'm going to take up this gorgeous bronzer here, and I'm going to just bronze up my face like I normally do all across the high points, 
you know what I mean. So this is very pigmented, so make sure you tap off your brush. It's a very natural tan color, like so the kind of browns you would go in like the actual sun. It's got like that kind of warm red tint to it, which is really nice. Not going for a contoured look. I'm definitely going for a bronzy goddess kind of look. Taking that all across the cheek. That is blending like a dream. There is no denying that. My little schnitzel is all over the place. I call these ponytails schnitzels. What do you call them? Yeah, that is just effortlessly blending in across the five head, down the cheeks, across the nose. Wow, that is really nice. I kind of knew it would be because it's Tom Ford and they just, their products are bomb. Their formulations are just, oh, sick. Yeah, this is like a Victoria's Secret model bronzer. Going into the highlight, it's like a pearlescent kind of pinky something or other. <laughs> Just looks gorge. Going in here. Yes. A little bit of fallout, but that's fine. Oh. That is nice. Yes. More of this, please. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We like this. Gosh, I love highlighter so much. Why is highlight just the funnest product in the world? It's like a pinky, pearlescent undertone, and I'm digging it so strongly. I'm just gonna go back in with my bronzer brush over the top, because we really want it to like merge into the skin. I approve. I massively approve of that highlight. Can you see? Is anyone watching the Haunted Hill House thing? I'm doing like the bent neck lady <laughs> trying to show you my highlight. Yes, love. Uh, let's do blush. It's a very like pop of pink strong blush. So I'm gonna just take a tiny bit just in case we end up with clown cheeks. And then, yeah, she's pigmented. So I'm gonna take off a little bit more on my hand. Yeah, that's pretty. The palette is a really nice edit. Like. It just works together, the three colors. You'd be surprised how many palettes don't actually work together, even though they're sold as like a trio. It's definitely a strong blush. You do not need a lot. This is my favorite so far. So we have another Tom product for the eye. This is the Cream and Powder Eye Color. This is the shade Naked Bronze. So typical of me. We love a bronze cream eyeshadow. This has got beautiful packaging as well. And you've got like the TF, and then it's a really nice like sturdy case. You have a pressed glitter in the top, which I did put my fingers in when I got it because I just couldn't resist. Like, come on, I'm only human. <laughs> and then in the bottom, I'm not gonna open it up just now, but you can see we have a gorgeous bronze cream eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this concealer brush by Sigma actually just to get it on the lid first because it is like a cream. I just kind of want to see how far it goes. I'm gonna do one eye at a time as well so I don't know how quickly it dries down. So I want to make sure that um, the glitter will stick on the top so... Oh, hello. Hello. So I'm just taking that up to the crease. Wow, that's so pretty. Building up the shape to where I want it. Wing it out slightly at the end. It's blending with like butter. This is a flat brush and it's like almost capable of blending it. That's so weird. I'm just taking a medium angled shading brush. I'm gonna run over the edge. Well, that was pretty freaking simple now, wasn't it? Okay, let's get the glitter on because I can feel it's definitely drying now. So I did have that like minute to work with it. So going into the lid, I'm just gonna take my finger and press. Oh yeah. Can you see? I'm just gonna go in the center of the lid. Oh, that's nice. That is, bet neck later. <laughs> that is, Nice. 
And how handy is it just to have the pressed glitter and the cream in the one pot? Because then if you're traveling or something and you just don't want to be carting around lots of products. Okay, so that is the eye there. It's a really chic, like super chic, paired back, minimalistic eye, which is definitely like something that I love. And I know a lot of girls love that aren't into like blending 700 eyeshadows together. So if you wanted to like get this instead of getting a big palette of eyeshadows that you'd never use, it's a really nice product. Yes, there are cheaper alternatives that would probably do the same thing. You might have them in your collection, totally up to you. But if you do love a bit of Tom, she's a nice one. So next up is mascara. This is the The Shock YSL Mascara Volume Effect Faux Seals. It's waterproof and I think I got black. I hope I got black, that's what I intended to get. And this is $54.50. The packaging is quite cool. It's black with kind of like silvery pink writing. Not much you can really say about a mascara, so let's just start putting it on the lashes. The brush is kind of curved out on one side, so I think that's to like pull and lift the lashes. Let's have a little look. Does anyone think mascaras are hard to judge when you first open them? I think mascaras are at their best when they're like two weeks old and they've dried up a little bit. What do you think? So this is building up quite nicely. Nice and black. Like I said, I have hooded eyes, so I, I tend to get like dots everywhere. So don't mind me, I will clean them up. Okay, so verdict on the mascara. It's a nice mascara. Is it something I would like leg it to the store and buy? No. But it is a nice mascara and I will use it up and it does layer quite well. I think I'm interested to try it when it's a little bit older, like in two weeks, because it is very wet at the moment. And if you're like a mascara lover, you'll know what I mean by that. Like it's too wet to kind of like see how much you can build it up. When the formula dries up that little bit more, I think I like it a bit more. But yeah, it's nice. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. Let's move on to the final product, which is lips. So the lipstick I ended up picking up to finish the look is the Shoujo Armani Ecstasy Shine Excess Shine and Care Lip Color in the shade 101 Nuda. So I just wanted a really nice, glossy, balmy, nudie lip today. I did swatch this when I got it because I was like, oh, this looks like a really nice nude color. Doesn't that look gorge? So this Armani lip color is $65. Definitely a bougier price pointed lipstick. Okay, let's just put it on. What more can you do with the lipstick? <laughs> Slightly fragranced, nothing too crazy. Definitely a balmy, moisturizing, hydrating, glossy lip. It is not supposed to be super pigmented and matte or anything like that. It is like a tinted lip balm slightly more tinted than your average tinted lip balm like more of a lipstick but that is really nice that color is the perfect like natural everyday lip color yeah i think all around that was a really positive first face first impressions face i think like the mascara was a bit underwhelming but it's mascara like what can you really say about it but every other product i think my skin looks beautiful like that foundation the powder, the way those three um, products from Tom Ford in the compact layered, that is stunning. Like I'm really loving my skin right now and then the simple eye and glossy lip complements that perfectly. I did not expect this look to just be so cohesive. It really looks really nice together. So that is all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this bougie, expensive first impressions video. Don't forget you have a discount code for your purchase in the description box below. I'll leave all the details down there. Thank you to Strawberry Net for collaborating with me and offering you guys a discount. We love a discount on top of a discount. Who doesn't want that Tom Ford palette at a discount? I don't know. Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will talk to you again really, really soon.